Good evening. Good evening, Wilfredo. Good evening, Carlos Murillo. Good evening, Fausto Good evening, Antonio. Teacher. How are you? How are you, you, my dear students? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine and I'm glad. And I'm glad to start a new course. Are you going to be our teacher? Yes, I'm going to be your teacher. Hey. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Great to know, great to meet you. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad to meet you too. It's a ple it's a pleasure to meet you all. Yes. Thank you. How are you? How was your day today? It was busy, busy. But busy. Yeah. Okay. It okay. Was, it was good. Yeah. Okay. As usual. I'm sorry. As usual. Busy yeah. as usual. Yeah, yeah it okay. is usual in my job. Okay, good, good. How about you, Carlos Antonio? How was your day today? Sorry, uh, for me, it's very good night. Uh, it's a pleasure to know you. Uh, okay, for me too. It's a, it's a, um, for me, my, my day is uh, very busy. Too. Okay. Uh, I, I I work uh, on homework, but it's uh, very difficult to you know in, because it's uh, uh, it's more more busy. I, I think it's more busy working the home at the office. Yes, it's more stressful, right? Because you have a lot of interferences in your house, you know, and then it's, yeah, it's more difficult working from home. It is true. It is true. It's, it's easier when you go to a place and you dedicate to that um, activity. But at home, you have a lot of things to do too. That's why I understand that. And also you have to be taking care of all the things that are not in your hands, right? Are out of your hands and it's very stressful. What am I gonna do, right? And yes, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell working from home is stressful. <laughs> Yes, it is. Welcome, yes. Rosa de Giron. Welcome. Yes. My name is Carmen well, Beteta. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very well. Very Excellent. Well. Excellent. I am going to be your teacher for this course. Um, I think we are going to be working in different topics. You are going to learn how to express orally and a written way about things that we buy, things that we sell, and 
things uh, that happen usually in your working environment, okay? That's what we are going to be learning in this course. I think everybody's ready, huh? Is right. everybody ready to start? Yes, ready. Yes. 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 I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. I think you are expecting, right? Expecting what is going to happen in this course. Yes. We are not working just for a grade. Okay. We are going to work for learning. Okay. To learn. To learn as much as we can. What's the way to learn a language? Speaking, right? Speaking, okay. practicing, practicing. There are some people that have more skills developed to write, for example. Somebody can say, I am good at writing, right? I understand English. Other people can say, uh, it's easier to speak English, but it's not so easy when someone uh, talk to me and I can't understand what they are saying. So uh, we are going to practice all the skills as possible. Okay, all the skills as possible. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to change again into Spanish. Voy a cambiar a español porque tenemos que ponernos de acuerdo en algunas cosas de logística, ¿verdad? Cuestiones eh, puramente de normativas que tenemos que seguir. Sean todos bienvenidos a este curso. Es un placer poder ser su maestra. Este curso es Principiantes 4. Si usted no está en Principiantes 4, me lo hace saber para que lo puedan redireccionar. ¿Verdad? Uh, bueno, la primera cosa es que voy a compartir pantalla para, tal vez ustedes ya han visto esta presentación de normativas, pero es bueno que, que repasemos un poquito, porque faltan varios, pero igual las vamos a, a publicar quizás en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp para que las tengan, pero las vamos a discutir un poquito ahorita. No sé cómo pasarme para allá, chicos. Espérenme. Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Ahí está. Hoy sí. Ok, there we go. This is module four. Este es módulo cuatro del de Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo de INSAFORP. Sean todos bienvenidos, que es su escuela inglés corporativo, en donde vamos a estar desarrollando diferentes temas acerca de eh, situaciones normales que pasan dentro de nuestro eh, ambiente de trabajo, ¿verdad? La normativa a la que me estoy refiriendo, ya las conocen, ya ustedes ya están en el nivel 4. Eh, uh, los requerimientos son que cuando ustedes se conecten, tienen que ingresar con su nombre completo. Si tiene dos nombres, pues los dos nombres. Si tiene dos apellidos, los dos apellidos. Si usted se inscribió con un apellido de casada, bueno, pone el apellido Tal y como aparece en su DUI, ¿verdad? O tal y como usted uh, se ha inscrito. Uh, hay personas que van a estar de oyentes, ya ese, esa modalidad pues ya la saben un poquito, tal vez los que no conocen, pues significa de que deben de cumplir todas las normas igual como alguien que está debidamente registrado en el curso. Alguien... Eh, Oyente no significa que lo vamos a hacer aparte, no, al contrario, oyente es, un, es parte del grupo, lo único que no soy yo la que lo va a, a graduar, por decir así, ¿verdad? Eh, pero tiene que cumplir todo. Siempre, por favor, sus cámaras encendidas durante toda la sesión, 
eh, a veces pues puede suceder alguna situación y uno recurre a, a quitar el, el video, pero no se les olvide que deben de tener su video encendido. Así es como se toma la asistencia, que usted tenga encendido su, su video y que tenga también encendido su audio, en el sentido de que si no interfiere, si hay mucha interferencia, lo mejor es que mantengan cerrados sus audios hasta que toque una participación, ¿verdad? Que normalmente así vamos a estar todos participando, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que buscar la manera de minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Todos tenemos familia, niños ahí alrededor y sí cuesta un poquito, pero hay que buscar la manera, ¿verdad? De eh, minimizar el sonido ambiente. Ah, permítanme que están pidiendo que mande el ID. ¿Alguien puede mandar el ID por el WhatsApp, chicos? Ahí que lo tenga a la mano para, para mandarlo, porque ahorita, espérenme. Como estoy compartiendo acá, a mí me, me cuesta un poquito la manejada de todo esto. ¿Me puede hacer favor alguien, chicos? ¿Sí? Para mandar el ID de la reunión en el grupo. Ah, gracias, por ahí mandaron todo el link, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. ok, ahí está. Walter dice que está pidiéndolo. Y de ahí, no sé, Stephanie también. Ok, uh, la participación activa es parte de su calificación, entonces necesitamos también ir viendo su progreso en la participación. Sé que la hora esta es un poco cansado para todos, pero necesitamos que, aunque sea bostezando, pero hay que hablar inglés, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a la siguiente, la asistencia. Eh, debe ser al 100% de las clases. Eh, no solamente eh, se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con la clase completa. Es decir, que la asistencia se va a tomar en tres, en tres ocasiones, a las ocho, a las nueve y a las nueve cuarenta y cinco. La ID me siguen pidiendo, ahorita voy. Déjenme mandarles el ID. Ahorita voy. Permítanme un momentito para poder mandárselos. Lo voy a mandar desde acá. Ok. Acá. Y ahorita voy. Copy. Bueno, solo lo envié el número así, tal y como está el ID. Miren ID. Bueno, regresando Yo, a lo de la... Perdón, se me pasó, ¿verdad? Eh, fíjese, perdón. ¿Sí, sí? Fíjese de que en el, el, el chat no sé quién lo va a crear o lo, o lo ha Ajá. creado. Ajá. Pero a mí no me he caído, no, no estoy, o, o no me han agregado, no sé. O sea, ah, un link para agregarse. Sí, el link se lo tuvieron que haber enviado en su, en su email de en su email de confirmación. Usted recibió un email de confirmación ah, okay. de haberse enrolado, ¿verdad? De, perdón, de haberse matriculado. Entonces, ahí, ahí tiene que estar el link abajo, al, al, casi al final viene el link para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp y ya se une okay. usted automáticamente porque nadie puede agregar. Ok, ok, okay bueno, bueno, siguiendo con lo de la asistencia chicos, vamos a ver, estábamos que se toma en tres ocasiones, ¿verdad? Y tienen que decir presente o mejor ya en inglés, ¿verdad? Present, um, y tener siempre su cámara encendida a la hora que se va a tomar la asistencia, no se puede hacer la trampa, ¿verdad? Luego, pues tenemos las sesiones de uno a uno, que vamos a estar, eh, son los diez minutitos al finalizar de cada clase, y hay una organización de tiempo, así que ahí, pues, eh, ¿ustedes recibieron ese horario o van a necesitar que yo se los mande? 
No lo hemos recibido. No lo han recibido. Entonces, ahorita, permítanme de una sola vez, solo termino acá que permisos, lastimosamente yo no les puedo dar. Nadie, ningún instructor está autorizado para dar permisos, ¿verdad? Bueno, hablando de lo del tiempo de la organización del, o oh, perdón, la programación de los, tomen, tomen las fechas, vamos a ver. Las fechas van a ser para Alexis, martes 13 de abril. No, no está, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, de los que están aquí les voy a ir diciendo mejor para que después les vemos las fechas a los demás. Vamos a ver, Wilfredo. Wilfredo le va a tocar viernes 7 de mayo, sus 10 minutos de consulta o de... Ah, sí, de aclaraciones. Vamos a ver, María Fernanda, welcome, Gracias. bienvenida. María Fernanda le va a tocar el jueves 29 de abril. A Walter le va a tocar, Walter Mauricio Morales, uh, le va a tocar el jueves 6 de mayo. Ok. Vamos Thank a ver. you, Ok, Sandrita, Sandra Beatriz le va a tocar el martes 4 de mayo. A Carlos Antonio le va a tocar, Carlos Antonio Murillo, jueves 15, jueves 15 de abril. Vamos a ver Rita, Rita Beatriz Cabrero desea, viernes 30 de abril 2021. Vamos a ver, aquí ya terminé de este lado. Permítanme. Rosa, Rosa Girón, le va a tocar el lunes 3 de mayo. Elvia, Elvia le va a tocar el jueves 22 de abril. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, Carla Marielos, le va a tocar el martes 27, martes 27 de abril. Eh, Lainey, o cómo se le se dice su, su nombre? Eleani. Eleani, ok. Eleani sería miércoles 21. Fausto, Fausto, uh, perdón, miércoles 21 de abril, de abril, porque vamos hasta mayo, ¿verdad? Entonces el 21 de abril le toca a Eleani. Vamos a ver Fausto. Fausto le toca el viernes 23 de abril. Viernes 23. Um, ¿Quién me falta aquí? Sería Edward. Edward Noyola. Um, un momentito. Martes 20. Martes 20 de abril. Y luego pues tenemos Sandra Beatriz. Permítame. Ya le dije a Sandra Beatriz, ¿verdad? No. Bueno, Sandra Beatriz le tocaría. Sí, teacher, ya me dijo. Ya le dije, de ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Gracias, gracias. Uh, Silvia, sí. Silvia Avendaño, miércoles 5 de mayo. Miércoles 5 de mayo. Um, bueno, gracias, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver quién me falta. Levante la mano. Ángel. Ángel Coronado, vamos a ver, miércoles 14 de abril, Ángel, ha entrado alguien más ahorita, ¿verdad? Ahorita tenemos uno que entró más, no, ahí estamos correctos, somos 15 ahorita, ¿verdad? Somos 15, bueno, yo creo que vamos a comenzar con la presentación formal, ok, retrocediendo ok, mi nombre es Carmen Beteta y voy a ser su maestra en este curso que es principiantes 4 si, no, y ahora ya todos sé que están aquí porque en la lista les dije su, su fecha, verdad bien uh, solo déjenme pasar la lista en este momento, di un tiempo para poder pasar la lista porque es el primer día, verdad 
porque pues tenemos las situaciones de las conexiones, del ID, todo eso para ubicarnos, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a pasar la lista en este momento. Ok. Y recuerden decir presente o present. Ok, vamos a ver. Alexis Antonio. Sandoval Morales. Is Alexis here? No, right? Um, Angel Magali Coronado Díaz. Bueno, ¿cómo es su nombre? Perdón. Sí, Angeli. Angeli? Sí. Ok, Angeli. Um, correcto. Vamos a ver. Solo voy a poner de un solo acá porque así ya queda registrado. Vamos a ver, Carlos Antonio Murillo. Acuérdense de tener, ok, gracias. Acuérdense de tener siempre encendida su cámara y abrir su micrófono para decir present. Tienen que quedar grabados ahí. Vamos a ver, Carlos Ernesto Rogel o Rogel. No, Conchita María Cecilia. Qué bonito este nombre. Conchita María Cecilia Gómez Campo. No. Ok. Um, Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Ok. El, el, Eleani. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Ok. Uh, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present, teacher. Ok. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. No estaba, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a ver qué es lo que pasa. Vamos a ver. Entró Walter. No, no ha entrado todavía, ¿verdad? Sí, Walter Mauricio. O ahorita voy a ver. Ok. Perfecto. Perfecto, Walter. Vamos a ver. Iba con Edward. Eleani, Elvia, Fausto, Francisco, Eduardo, Figueroa, Mejía. Está Francisco Eduardo, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Ok. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Está, no está. No. Y definitivamente cinco no van a estar, pero vamos a terminar la lista. Seguimos. Un momentito. Ahora, María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Okay. Rita Beatriz. Permítame. Rita Beatriz Cabrera de C. Cabrero o Cabrera. Cabrero. Cabrero, Cabrero de Sea. Muy bien. Present teacher. Ok. Bien. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández. Ya la mencioné tres veces, pero diga <ríe> present. Ok, good. Present teacher. Good, good. Um, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Hello, teacher. Ok, good. 
está, um, Walter Mauricio Morales. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Uh -huh. You've got a present. Present. Thank present you. Present. Thank you. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Yo creo que él es, él es el que se ha de estar conectando. Bien. Yo creo que ahí con él finalizamos. Ahorita solo tenemos 16 conectados. Y uh, solo quiero hacerles una pregunta acá. Sí, sí. Dígame. En el caso de, en el caso de Alex eh, Morales, Ajá. él lo pasaron a... Bueno, él pidió el traslado hasta el nivel 1. Creo que por eso se ha Ok, o sea, él es el primero que mencioné, ¿verdad? Alexis. Ok, muy bien. Ok, ya tomé nota y lo vamos a reportar ahí para que nos ayuden con eso. Bien. Ok. Volvemos a presentarnos ya que muchos acaban de ingresar. Ok, mi nombre es Carmen Beteta. Voy a ser su nueva teacher en este curso. Espero que todos estén entusiasmados para aprender porque es la mejor manera para aprender. Estar eh, expectantes y practicar mucho, ¿verdad? Uh, ahora quisiera terminar las... Um, las normativas para que ya quedemos en sintonía. Ok. Eh, permítanme compartirles la pantalla que ahí estábamos. Entonces estamos acá. Que permisos no eran disponibles, ¿verdad? Haciendo una rememoración para los que no estaban desde el principio, eh, las normativas son las mismas. Su nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En este momento, usted puede cambiar ahí o renombrarse para que me aparezca, por favor, con los dos nombres y los dos apellidos, tal como... Eh, Usted se inscribió. ¿Cómo se hace eso? Usted va ahí en su camarita donde usted aparece en su videíto, en su cuadrito. Eh, colóquese encima en su mouse y ve que le aparece solicitar para reactivar el audio y ve que le aparecen tres puntitos. En azul o se resaltan ahí. En esos tres puntitos usted le da. Ok. Y ahí usted busca la viñeta renombrar. Para que me aparezca con tal y como usted se inscribió. ¿Alguna pregunta para que lo hagamos? ¿Dónde dijo teacher? Perdón, que podíamos hacer el cambio. Vaya, ustedes se van a su, a su video, a donde aparece su carita, donde está apareciendo el cuadrito de su video. Ah, okay. Usted pone el cursor sobre su carita y ahí dice desactivar, activar audio o algo relacionado al audio y uh -huh. tiene tres puntitos, que es un puntito de menú, es un, bo un botón de menú. Abren ese menú y en la viñeta donde dice renombrar, me ponen sus dos nombres, sus dos apellidos. O tal como ustedes se inscribieron, ¿verdad? Si tienen de casada, pues también de casada, ¿verdad? Y ya quedan. Y quedamos que siempre, siempre ustedes se van a, van a ingresar de esa manera, con su nombre completo, tal como van a aparecer en sus uh, diplomas, ¿verdad? Uh, igualito, así como quieren que aparezca. De lindo. It is done, teacher. Okay. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. How about you? Uh, okay, Walter. Muy bien, Elvia y Anet Beltrán, excelent. Ajá, muy bien. ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto a eso? ¿No? ¿O sí? 
Ok, sí, sí, seguimos, ¿verdad? Que la asistencia, pues ya sabemos que debemos asistir al 100%, no hay permisos y tenemos siempre los 10 minutos de, eh, de asesoría que les vamos a brindar, ¿verdad? Bueno, con respecto de las tareas y evaluaciones, es necesario su nota, ¿verdad? Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Todas las tareas las hay en la, plata, en la plataforma. Exactamente, terminamos una clase, usted puede hacer su tarea, ¿verdad? Y tiene que darle en el botón de Submit, ¿verdad? Tiene que darle en el botón para que se registre su calificación de esa tarea, que sí la hizo. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche porque ese registro lo toma Insafor cada semana. Si usted no lo hizo esa fecha, eh, pues se va a ir quedando rezagado y sin nota, ¿verdad? La fecha límite para terminar el examen intermedio del curso es el lunes 26 de, bueno, en este caso sería, sí, 26 de abril nos tocaría, ¿verdad? Y la fecha límite para terminar el examen final será el martes 11 de mayo, antes de la medianoche, ¿verdad? Bien, uh, Ustedes ya tienen el manual, también se les envió en el grupo de WhatsApp para que por los que usan el celular, ¿verdad? Se les haga un poco más fácil. Y también, pues, en la plataforma, ahí está el, el manual. Bien, seguimos. La plataforma de Zoom, de Zoom, ¿cómo la vamos a estar utilizando? Pues este es nuestro salón de clase y utilizamos el mute o el botón silencio, que lo que significa es... Eh, tachar, ¿verdad? El inhabilitar el micrófono para evitar eh, los sonidos ambientes y las interferencias. La cámara siempre debe estar encendida. Podemos utilizar los chats si hay alguna consulta. Tenemos que estar pendientes del chat, ¿verdad? Mm. Los breakout rooms, eso va a ser un momento en que vamos a practicar algún diálogo o van a hacer alguna actividad en grupo que tengan que presentar para la misma clase. Entonces, cuando estén separados, ustedes pueden pedir asistencia al instructor. Ustedes pueden pedirme asistencia para que yo aparezca por ahí y les ayude, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿alguna duda con respecto de las normativas? No, teacher. Okay. Everybody agree? Okay, yes, teacher. Everybody agree. Everybody agree. Vamos a ver. Sigo todavía en español. Bien, eso es con respecto de la asistencia y todo eso. Si alguien tiene alguna situación con su nombre... Um, la vamos a verificar y me dice para que podamos hacer los cambios necesarios en, la, en los listados, ¿verdad? Eh, por el momento creo que eso es la normativa. Y a partir de ahorita comenzaríamos nuestra primera clase, ¿verdad? A ver, ¿cómo se sienten? Vamos, les vamos a dar un chancecito de que hablen en español para que se desahoguen, se desestresen y botemos el estrés de la primera clase, ¿verdad? A ver, todavía, solamente un minutito en español. Quiero escuchar, eh, por ejemplo, podemos hablar con Eleani. ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo está? Buenas noches, Che. Buenas noches. Buenas. Yo me siento muy contenta, espero aprender mucho más este módulo. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver, Carla Marielos. Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. Muy contenta de seguir aprendiendo. Y espero que este módulo sea mejor. Ok, muy bien. A ver, Sandrita Beatriz. ¿Cómo se siente usted? Buenas noches, teacher. Pues Buenas de noches. igual forma que con el deseo de superar, de Excelente. aprender más. Good. 
A ver, Silvia Elizabeth, ¿cómo se siente usted? Hola, teacher, pues bien, aquí con toda la actitud y con todos los ánimos para aprender en este módulo. Así que esperamos todos que nos sea de mucha utilidad. Y si le ponemos dedicación y mucho esfuerzo, pues estoy seguro que vamos a aprender mucho. Así que gracias y buenas noches. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver, María Fernanda, ¿cómo se sí, siente usted? Positivo, sería fatal. Bien. ¿Quién dijo Hola, fatal? Buenas noches. <ríe> buenas noches. Este, Todo bien, la verdad es que muy a la expectativa para, para poder este, aprender y de verdad espero que sea de mucho provecho. Perfecto. Vamos a intentar integrarnos todos para que esto camine para adelante, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver cómo se siente Eduardo Ademir. Eh, buenas noches a todos. Eh, gracias a Dios bien. Aquí queriendo votar el temor a, a hablar. Okay. Y este, bueno, con toda la actitud ¿verdad? para poder aprender cada día más. Ok, perfecto. Sí, yo comprendo. A veces hablar el español así en público también cuesta un poquito. Uno se pone sus nervios, ¿verdad? Y todo eso ya no digamos en un, un idioma que estamos aprendiendo, pues sí se pone uno un poquito así como eh, nerviosito, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a tratar de botar ese estrés, vamos a tratar de botar ese miedo, ¿verdad? Que, que nos eh, mantiene atados muchas veces para soltar la lengua, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver a uh, Rosa Esperanza, ¿cómo se siente? Con una actitud de querer aprender más y poder este, soltar un poco, como dice usted, la lengua, porque eso es lo que más cuesta, ¿verdad? Así sí, que sí. espero eh, aprovechar todo lo que usted nos va a, a enseñar. Perfecto, okay, perfecto. Vamos a ver, Elvia. ¿Cómo se siente, Elvia? Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. Entusiasmada para aprender. Ese, yo no había estado en los módulos anteriores. Okay. Eh, estaba estudiando anteriormente. Bueno, ya tengo casi un año de, de no estar aprendiendo. Y okay. hoy vuelvo, entonces espero poder poco a poco aprender y uh, soltarme un poquito más al hablar porque sí a veces uno le cuesta pero uh, vamos a aprender ok perfecto vamos a ver Wilfredo cómo se siente con, con ganas teacher de aprender perfecto y, bueno perfecto. me gusta saludarle y el compañero Gracias. que tuvimos el nivel pasado pues saludo otra vez okay. y a los nuevos pues, que se van agregando Ahí con los mismos deseos de aprender, ¿verdad? Un poco en el camino, pues equivocándonos, pero con ganas de aprender, Ticha. Así es, perfecto. Muy bien. Eh, los demás me pueden perdonar y, y, y tiren el estrés así ahorita, el miedo. Y vamos a comenzar un poquito ya porque ya tenemos un tiempito bastante... Ah, así, desestrésense todos ya, tranquilos, porque vamos a cambiar a inglés, ¿verdad? Vamos a cambiar a inglés y ya no nos vamos a acordar que hablábamos español, ¿ok? <ríe> vamos a ver, everybody, hi, how are you doing? Great teacher, how are you doing? Right. <ríe> Excellent, that's the attitude, that is the attitude. Ok, right, now, sure. excellent, that is the attitude. Well, This is your first class, and I'm going to introduce myself, okay? My name is Carmen Beteta. I am going to be your new teacher for all this course, and I want you to feel confident and ask whenever you want. Ask, make a question whenever you want. If you don't understand, please ask. Never, never leave this classroom or this um, session with a doubt in your minds, okay? Please, every time you ask, ask for help, right? Ask questions. How do you say this? How do you say that? How do you say this in English? How do you say this in, this, uh, in the Spanish? You say something and you want to know the meaning, please ask me, okay? Ask me. So let's start, let's start right now with the first unit. 
with the first unit. Just give me one second and I'm going to get there. Have you seen your manual already? ¿Ya vieron su manual? Have you seen your manual? Yes, teacher. Not yet, teacher. Not yet. Okay, Not well, yet. let's think about what does this manual bring? What does this manual yeah. contain? This manual has the four units, right? Four units. And these four units, we are going to be learning uh, how to express orally and in a written way, how to express um, situations, common situations in our workplace, in our work environment, okay? In this case, we are gonna talk about things like buying and selling things. We need to know how to describe things. We need to know, um, how to call something and how to measure things. So let's go to our manual and I want you to see, just give me one second, I'm gonna get the manual. I just want you to One moment. It doesn't show this. Okay, there we are. There we go. Okay, this is our manual. I want you to check, please, in pages six and seven. Do you see page six and seven? You are going to find a little map. Uh, this is just a direction, what we are going to study. You are gonna see the name of the unit, okay? The title of every, every uh, topic that we are going to study and to learn. And this is, and this is, uh, the column in the middle is the objectives that you want to acquire, the skills that you are going to develop. If you learn that, then that's the object, objective accomplished or fulfilled, okay? So that's page six and seven. This is the content, right? This is the content. And the first unit, what is the first unit? Our first unit is purchasing and storing, okay? Purchasing and storing, purchasing and storing. What is purchasing? Do you know what is purchasing? No. To buy, to buy, give money and get something. Give money and get something. That is purchase. Okay, it's a purchase. You can purchase online and you can go to a store and purchase something. You can go to, uh, go to a store and buy something or you can buy online, right? You can do it in any way. So let's think, what do you do when you go shopping? What do you do when you go shopping? I see the product, I see the features, right? For example, if it is white, black, or yellow, or um, red, so it means color, right? It means color. That's a feature of a product, a feature of a product. So now just, I want to show you a question, okay? This is a general question. Just give me one second and I'm going to leave this question for you. No 
Okay, this is our unit. So I want to show you this question. Can you read this question? Please, everybody open your, your uh, microphones and can you read this question for me? Please, everybody. Read it, John. What do you do like? What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Okay, I'm going to read it for you now. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Now, can you read it for me, please? What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Yes, they are. Good. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Excellent. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Excellent. Mm -hmm. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Good. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Good. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Excellent. Mm -hmm. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Okay. Mm -hmm. Who else? What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Excellent. Good. Mm -hmm. What I'm do gonna... you like to buy when you go shopping? Excellent, good. I'm going to read it for you again, and then uh, the others that are missing, then you are going to say it. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Los que faltaban? What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Excellent. What do you like to buy when you go what shopping? Do you, what Excellent. do you like to buy when you go shopping? Good. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Good. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Good. Now, can you give me the answer for this? For example, Carla Marielos, what do you, uh, I'm sorry. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? I like buy shoes. Shoes, yes. good. Uh huh. Jeans. Okay, good. Jeans. Uh, Sylvia, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? Okay, when when I go shopping, sometimes I like to buy shoes or personal uh, things like earrings or lipsticks or Good. clothes is the most thing that I like to buy when I go shopping. Very interesting. Good, good. So Anjali, Magali, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? When I buy, when I, when I. When I go shopping? So when yeah. I go shopping, I like to buy clothes and and food <laughs> yeah, food good good, yes. good okay francisco eduardo what do you like to buy when you go shopping we can't hear you francisco Something's happening. You're having trouble with the audio, Francisco. There you go. I think. Hello, hello. There you go. Good. Now okay. we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I lied. Uh... I like to buy uh, shoes and t-shirts. Okay, good, good. 
How about you, Walter Mauricio? What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Uh, I like the uh, sportwear. Uh, sport sportwear. Shoes. Okay, good. Good, good. Sandra Beatriz, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? I like food. Okay. And I like shoes. And I like clothes. Good. Excellent. Um, let's see. Maria Fernanda, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? I like to buy clothes, uh, dresses, jeans, good uh, t-shirt, and um, very clothes. Okay, clothes, right, good. So Rita Beatriz, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? I like to buy shoes and the full desserts. Uh, uh, you like desserts? Yes. Great, I love desserts too, I love sweet. Uh, a lot, a lot. I prefer sweet to, sa to salty. So let's see, Carlos Antonio, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? Carlos Antonio, we can't hear you. Uh, uh, when I when I go when I go to sh go shopping, I would like to buy a uh, t-shirt. I would like I, I like uh, buy shoes and I like buy watches. Watches, good, good. Do you yes. have a collection? <laughs> no, 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 but 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 it's, it's, it's uh, how do you say debilidad? Uh, a weakness. Okay, exactly. A weakness. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, that's your scene. Good. So, Rosa Esperanza, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? I I like shopping, hair shoes, um, breakers. Um, what what do you like? Breakers, uh, breakers, uh, or or wallet? Wallets, oh, okay, okay. Like bags or some things like that? Okay, good. <laughs> the pants, uh, the dress. Dresses, uh, okay, good, dress. okay. Uh, <laughs> excellent, excellent. So this is when we personally, I mean, when we uh, individually go and buy something, but sometimes we can ask what does my, husband like to buy when he goes shopping this is changing the person right who is shopping or who is doing the shopping or we can say um what does my daughter like to buy when she goes shopping for example this is just an example and we change the person so we change uh the structure right so uh, i'm sorry the question but let's think about our company what do they purchase in your company? This is a very interesting question. What do they purchase in your company? What do they purchase in your company? Can you tell me what do they buy in your company? Oh, I'm sorry. Just let me, let me take note right now of your purchase. purchase is to buy purchase is to buy okay we said what do you like to buy when you go shopping now what uh, yes acquisitions good mm -hmm. that's the department in charge of doing the purchases right so let's see uh what do they purchase in your company i want to hear some um I want to hear some 
some answers, okay? And you tell me here. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, Rita, Rita Beatriz, what do they purchase in your company? Can you tell me things? They buy... Um, Al alcohol gel. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, it's alcohol. Alcohol gel. Uh -huh. In gel, right? Okay. Mm hmm. Or um, gel alcohol, right? Mm hmm. What else? Um, Let's see. Thank you, Rita. Let's see. Okay. Um, who else here? I'm gonna ask to. Uh, Walter Mauricio, what do they purchase in your company? It's not Walter Mauricio right now. Okay, let's see Fausto. Fausto Antonio, what do they purchase in your company? Uh, purchase... Um, um, uh, Clean the pro products that clean. Sorry. Uh, uh -huh. How do you call the uh, product de limpieza? Okay, cleaning products. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Yes, good. Cleaning products. And the cleaning products, we have the disinfectant and we have the soap, antibacterial soap, for example. Or um, in the cleaning products, we have brooms, right? Mops to mop the floor. Um, there are a lot of things like, um, <laughs> we can't say the trademarks, but uh, a deodorant, ambience deodorants, right? Um, so that's cleaning products. Uh, let's see, uh, do they purchase office supplies in your company, Francisco Eduardo? Hey, okay, hey, do you listen to me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, we can okay. hear you. And in, in my company, they to buy, uh, they buy, they purchase um, paper. Okay, good. The office supplies are uh -huh, paper. Pencil. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, yeah. What do you say, toner in English? Like that, toner. Tone. Toner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like this. Uh, uh huh. They purchase a toner. Uh huh. In, 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 in others. Okay. Thank you very much, Francisco. Let's see, Angeli. What do they purchase in your company? Talking about the office supplies, for example. Okay. Um... In my company, purchase um, um, how do you say a papelería para facturación? Oh my God, <laughs> this is like um, uh, yeah, it's paper, but they uh, print these things, right? These are the. Yes. Uh, let me let me remember the word because the word is invoice. Invoice, yes, invoice papers or invoice uh, forms. Okay, invoice forms like this, invoice okay. forms okay. or invoice templates could be okay like this templates like okay. this. Mm -hmm. Thank you very forms. much for the person yes. who gave me the uh, the this flash in the invoice word. Thank you. So thank you very much, Anjali. Uh, let's see, Sandrita, Sandra Beatriz, what do they purchase in your company? Um, I am a teacher. My, no, no, work, no working company. Oh, so you don't, oh, okay, but, um, you are doing this online right now. Do they buy computers no. for the school? No. Um, class presence. 
Family presence. Okay, so we could say furniture, right? Furniture like desks, yes? Do they buy desks? Um, yes. Okay, we could say uh, boards, right? Um, pencil. Um, uh -huh, pencil, pilot, markers. Marker, Good. pen. Book. Okay, excellent. Very good, very good. So your company is a school, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they buy things because they need supplies to do your job, right? So if you need something to acquire to do your job, like uh, tools, in this case, we are talking about paper, pencil, stoner, invoice, forms, te uh, templates, any kind of templates, desks, boards, market, markers, tablets, uh, books, right? If you check this, we can measure, right? Thank you very much, um, Sandra. Uh, now let's think about this. I'm sorry, these things. Can you count paper? Can you count paper? And in Spanish, we say one paper to papers, right? In the Spanish, because we say like un papel, right? But in English, we can't count the paper. We cannot count the paper. So we call this kind of nouns uncountable. Paper is an uncountable noun. What can we count in paper? Ah, we can count like a sheet of paper, right? A sheet of paper. Ah, Okay, then we can count a sheet, two sheets, three sheets of paper, a box of paper, a package of paper, but we cannot count just the paper, the paper as the material paper, we cannot count. And that, that concept of countable and non-countable make us think in singular, and plural, right? Because it's kind of difficult, difficult. If we say papers, we are talking about a different thing. We are not talking about the paper in the office. We are talking about documents, right? So we have to be careful with this. We have to be careful with things that we can count, like one, two, three, four, five or things that we cannot count like one, two, three, four. And we have to say just the amount of it. For example, the amount will be a box of paper, for example. This is just an example with one word. So let's see, please, I, I'm going to take you to see a video, okay? A little video. This is very easy because we are just uh, saying the, the name of everything, uh, some things, and you are going to check the difference, okay, between the count and non-countable nouns. The countable and non-countable, just give me one second. And there we go. One moment. This is when we are talking about the supply things, okay? So, or things that our company usually buy, okay? This is we are just saying the nouns or the name of the things. Paper. Paper clip, markers, pen, pencil, portfolio, agenda, folder, staples, stapler, tape, pencil sharpener. Coffee, water, sugar, tea, milk. Okay. Paper. You, 
you see here, paperclip. can you count paper? And we said, no, we cannot count paper. Can we count paper clips? One paper clip, two paper clips. Yes. Yes, we can count yes, we paper can. clips. Where are we going to add the plural? Ah, we are not going to say papers clips, right? We are going to say paper clips. The plural is for the last word in this case. So just um, checking this paper clips. One paper clip, two paper clips, three, pr then we can count them, right? So let's see the other one. Markers, pen, pencil. Can you count markers or a marker? One marker, two markers. Yes, we can count them, right? Yes, we, can we can count. Can we count pen? Yes. Yes, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pens. What about pencil? Is it countable? Yes, it is, because we can count one pencil, two pencils, three pencils. Let's check the other one. Portfolio. Agenda. Folder. Can you count portfolio? Yes. Yes, yes you can. Agenda, can you count agenda? Yes. Yes, yes you can. Yes. Can yes. you count folder? You can yes, say one folder, two folder, three folder. Yes, of course you can, right? So this is just checking the concept. Staples. Stapler. Can you count staples? Yes. One staple, two staples, three, four staples. Stapler. Can you count staplers? Yes, you can count them, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's hey. see. Pencil sharpener. Okay, can you count tape? Tape. Yeah. Can you count tape? Yes. No, you cannot count tape. You cannot count tape. You can count a roll of it, or you can count a piece of tape, right? Two pieces of tape, three pieces of tape. But we cannot count tape. We cannot say a tape, two tapes, because if we say one tape, two tapes, and that's a different meaning completely. It's not the adhesive tape, okay? We are not referring to this. So if we say a tape, we are not saying this kind of tape. We are talking about maybe a recording or something. Do you remember the tapes? Los cassettes, do you remember that? Okay, then we could say a tape, two tapes, three tapes, because they were talking about those specific things. But in this case, no, right? We cannot count tape. Can we count pencil sharpener? Yes, yes we can. One yes. pencil sharpener, two pencil sharpeners, three pencil sharpeners. Excellent. So if you see tape is uncountable, pencil sharpener is countable, right? So let's continue with this. Coffee. Water. No. Sugar. No. No. No account. Milk. No account. Great. It's non-countable. This Sugar. this last part. Tea. All of those things Milk. are non-countable, right? Just let me get back. Tea. Mm -hmm. Coffee, water. Tea and milk are liquids or substances. So it's not possible to count them. And we cannot say a coffee. In Spanish, we say un café, but in, in English, we, we don't say a coffee, okay? We say a cup of coffee, a bag of coffee without, uh, if it is not already made. Uh, then we have water, water, for example, water. We don't say a water. <laughs> in the formal way, why not? Because it's uncountable, it's a liquid. We can count a bottle of water, we can count a cup or a glass of, wa a glass of water, but we cannot count water. Sugar, can you count sugar? No, we can't, right? We have to, but we can count this 
spoons of sugar, for example, right? Spoons of sugar, one spoon of sugar for my coffee, right? Uh, two spoons of sugar, three, etc. Et but sugar is not countable, it's uncountable. So tea, tea is uncountable. We could say a bag of tea or a tea bag, a tea bag, but we don't say a tea. We could say a cup of tea, but we don't say a tea, two teas, three teas. Mm -mm. We say tea, some tea. And then let's think about milk. Do you think that milk is countable? No, right? No. How can we measure the milk? How can we measure the milk? Bottom. How can we say a bottom. bottle of milk? Bottom. Good. A liter, right? Mm -hmm. a, a glass, a glass of milk, yes. a cup of milk. Good. Thank you. Yes. Milk. Uh -huh. Okay, good. So this is just for you to see the concept because there are things in our language that are countable, but in the other language in English is not countable the concepts are different so we have to be careful with that so let's go to the manual let's go to your manual can you see uh this page number nine is it okay can you see it do you visualize it not today we can see you can't no. Okay, just let me see what did I do because, yeah, I was kind of worried about that too. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now, can you see? Yes. 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 Okay. There we have. Uh, one problem I have this. There we go. This is our first page in unit one, storing and purchasing, right? Let's read a little. Can you read uh, the instructions for number two? Uh, Rita. Match the different um, features. Feature on a product with to the defin definition compared with a partner. Okay, good. So what are we going to do here? First of all, I'm going to show you some features. We were talking about feature features of the product. For example, if we talk about coffee, let's think about coffee. You want to buy some coffee, okay? What do you think you need to go and buy some coffee? You need to know if you want a bag, do you, uh, if you want a pound of coffee, or how much does it cost, right? Those are features, features, character, ca characteristics, okay? Features, characteristics. That means features. So let's think about the features of coffee, for example. What color is it? What color brown. is coffee? It's brown. brown. Good. Brown. Good. Excellent. Coffee is brown. So that's a feature of coffee. For example, another feature could be, do you want instant coffee or you need um, grain coffee, right? Grain coffee or instant coffee. That's another feature, right? Do you want to buy it in a sachet or you want to buy it in a, 
a pound presentation or do you need it uh, already made, right? A cup, uh, for example, if you go to a cafeteria, you can buy the coffee already made. So let's think about features. Let's see number one, size, size. What could be a size of a shirt, for example, or, or, or a blouse? Size. What is your, uh, what is the size that uh, fits you, Sylvia? Okay, of a shirt, right? Mm -hmm. Of a shirt. Or a blouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. It could be large, Good. small, or I don't know how to say it. not too large and not too small. Yeah. Uh, extra small, large, medium, right? In the middle. Like it's medium. medium. Yes. Yeah. Medium. Yeah, because we have L, M, S, and we have XS, right? We have XS or mm -hmm. we have XL, you, you know, extra large. <laughs> extra large or extra yeah. small. So those are sizes. Size is the, um, yeah, the size <laughs> of uh, a thing. For example, what could be the size of a shoe? Let's see, uh, Carla Marielos, you like to buy shoes, right? So when you go shopping, so what are the size of a shoe? of shoes. Can you tell me sizes? Size uh, siete, seven, seven, uh -huh. seven. Yeah, 37. Mm -hmm. Good. So it is uh, yours, right? This is your size, the size that fits your, your feet, right? So yes, that size, size, Let's think about the weight and a thing like the coffee, right? We were saying about the pound, right? Pound, that's weight, weight. Let's see price. What are we talking about when we say price? We are talking price. about money, price. right? Money. When we talk about price, we talk about money. Uh, when we talk about the dimensions, what do you think we're talking about? Measures, right? Long, high, that's our measures, right? Long, high, of deep or something. Um, let's think about the battery life. Battery life uh, could be the time, right? That the battery lasts. Uh, let's see, storage. For example, where can you storage um, milk? Where can you storage milk? Where? In the you, fridge? Yes, on the fridge, in the fridge, good. You need a refrigerator to, to uh, to storage the milk. So let's see about the function. Function is another feature and it's very important, right? How does it work, right? How does it work? For example, if I buy a cell phone, I need to know how it function or the functions in it, right? Uh, let's see, warranty, warranty, it's another thing. Right. For example, I buy a cellular phone. I ask for some warranty if it doesn't work correctly. Right. So let's read. Let's read here. Mm, let's see. Um, it is nine and twenty. I'm going to give you ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes, and we are going to um, split and in groups. We are going to break in groups. And you were going to match the different features on the product with its definitions. Definition and feature. Just give me one moment. Uh, we are 17, so 
We're going to do it automatically. There we go. One moment. I think of, do you wanna do it in pairs? Is that okay? I think in pairs will be good. Yeah. Let's see, yeah, in pairs. It will be easier to talk, right? So just let me get here. It's charging. There we go. Mm, it gives me the whole, the whole, the complete things. Let's see. So I have to create eight, right? Eight rooms. There we go. There is going to be one of three people. There you go. Francisco and Carla, Faust, okay. I don't know how to add someone here. Okay, I'm going to initiate. Okay, there you go. medidas o proporciones de algún tipo. Uh -huh. Sería Yo lo... seis medidas o proporciones. Uh -huh. no Yo, lo sería... puse como... Yo lo puse como función. Función, que dice función. No cree que sería dimension. dimension es que hay otra... Que dice... uh -huh. Pero hay otra que dice la dimensión, ahí donde dice la dimensión o magnitud general de una cosa. Let's try Esta... to, let's try, let's try to uh, practice English, guys. Let's try to read the things and just think about that. For example, uh, number one, it was um, size, right? What, uh, what number are you in? What, what, what number oh, are you? Uh-huh. What number are you now? You said measurement, right? Or dimension. What did you say? Okay, number uh, one, it was number, size, right? Uh, number one. Uh huh. Size. What letter uh, do you think it matches? What is H. the answer for number one? H. What does it say? H. Can you read it? Read. H. H. Uh -huh. Read the definition. Practical uh, use or 
¿Cómo se pronuncia mm. eso, Tito? Por... Give me one second. Por let, me go there. let me go there. Propose. Propose. Just give me one moment because I have the other closed. Practical use or... Practical mm -hmm. use or purpose in the size. Size? Size is not that. No. Um, size is... We, remember, large, small, and those things. How do we call that? Let, let's think about the definition of that. <laughs> Give me one moment because I cannot open this thing here. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. They sent it yeah. here. Good. So it says size, size, number. Um, okay, let's Teacher. think about the definition. Mm -hmm. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think uh, size is um, uh, letter eight, letter eight. Um, mm, Mm. Yes, well, I think I. Mm -hmm. uh, not really. Uh, our definition simil similar is uh, uh, letter, letter E, the space available, uh, available for retention of something. I no, think that no, could no. be another one that it is number six, right? Number six storage, storage is the space where you mm -hmm. put the things mm -hmm. to keep them or to maintain them over there right so uh storage mm -hmm. could be that what you're saying you you said the space available for retention mm -hmm. it's letter e right so letter yeah, e yes. is with number six yes. right yes. Mm -hmm. okay yes. but let's start in order number one size what do you think is the definition mm -hmm. F. Letter F. Letter uh, F. Uh -huh. Contained by something. Do you think that? But is re relative mass or the quantity contained by something? I think that I, I agree with uh, Francisco in this because you said that it was dimensions, right? Uh huh. Mm. Dimension uh, is letter F, right? This letter, uh -huh. letter A, uh -huh. measure or proportion of some kind. Letter A, okay. Uh, letter A, uh, uh, number two, white mm -hmm. uh, is a uh, is a uh, letter F, a uh, Boris relative mass or the quantity contained by, by something. Good, number two with letter F. Excellent, okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Number three, price. Letter G. Good, because we're talking about mm -hmm. money. Okay, mm -hmm. there, there you go. So continue guys, you are doing great, but don't speak Spanish, try to just say, uh, the, if you don't know anything else, just say the word and practice what you have in your manual, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. good. See you guys. las hojas ahora. Hi, teacher. Bueno, ya nos regresan a la sala. Saludos. Saludos. <laughs> okay, good. Finish.
Did you finish? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, how how uh, did you do with this thing? Was it okay? Was it easy? <laughs> yes, was it easy? Was it difficult? Mm -hmm. Kind of, right? <laughs> because we're not, yeah, because we are not used to describe things in English. We usually want to translate. We are not going to translate. We are going to describe the things that means that we are using definitions, okay? Definition. So can you, uh, we're going to say it just uh, in a quick way, okay? And let's see, number one, number one, what is the answer for number one? Size. What is the definition for size? It's a, a, prom, a promise. A promise to replace, replace some sign within a theory of sign. Everybody agree? No. No. No, no. right? Uh, no. Oh. Can someone it's, give me the answer? The correct it, answer? I think a uh, little. And number one, mm -hmm. I think is a little, a little F. No, no, no. A, e. a, a little the one. A, a little one is a, a, a definition of the little one. A, e. yes. a, a body relative mass or the quantity contained by sometimes. Mm -hmm. este, que, Do you agree? A no. No, I, no, in my case, teacher. Okay, tell me what's the answer, Carlos. Okay, I, I think it's a letter D. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's overall dimension or magnitude. Or magnitude. Okay, let's see yeah. number two. Uh, do you agree? Yes? Okay, number two. Let's see number two. Wait. We, we have to pronunciate this correctly. Pronounce, I'm sorry. It's like this, wait, wait. Because there is a difference between way, like the action of put something in a, in, um, to measure it, than wait, wait, okay? Wait and wait. It, it exists way and it's a different thing. Wait, you have to, pronounce the letter T at the end. Wait. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Number two. What is the answer for number two? If. Mm -hmm. Letter F. F. Okay. Let's see number three. Price. Number G. Letter G. Letter G. Uh, can you read it, please? Larry G. 
Uh -huh. Can you read that definition? Uh, who said it? I think right. it was Edward, right? Yes, teacher. Can you read letter G? The amount of money required or paid for something. Good. Number four, dimensions. Dimensions. What is Let the definition? Letter E. Okay, can you read it, please? The space uh, uh, available. 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 Available for retention of some things. Good, good, good. So that will be dimensions. The space available for retention of, of uh, I'm sorry, of something. Do you agree? No, for me, teacher. No, I right? Let, letter, uh, uh -huh. letter E. Okay, can you read that, please? Measurements or, or proportions of some kind. Oh, okay, you see? Uh, yeah, that's dimensions. Um, yeah. So let's see, battery life. Can you give me the definition for battery life? Number five. Letter C. Mm -hmm. Letter C. Yeah. Uh, measure of battery performance and longevity. Longevity. Uh huh. Longevity. Good. Mm -hmm. longevity. Yes, longevity. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. Storage. What's the definition for storage? Letter E. Okay, now it goes the letter E, right? The space where we are going to keep or maintain something. Divided for retention or something. Okay, good, good. So let's see number seven, function, function. Letter H. Letter H. Uh huh. can you read it please? A function. Protocol use or propose yeah. in the same. Letter H, practical yes. use, uh-huh. Or purpose in design. Okay, good. Practical use or purpose. Purpose, say purpose with me. Purpose. Purpose. Purpose in design, purpose in design. Good, okay. And what about warranty? Warranty. What is the definition letter for warranty? B. Letter B. Letter B. Uh, provide, uh -huh. provide, B. replace. B. Okay. Uh -huh. A promise to repay. Okay. A promise, right? A promise. A, A promise, promise to repair. To repair, replace. Yeah, yeah, to repair or replace something within a period of time. You buy it today and then you have the warranty extended for one year, for example, right, of functionalities. Okay, good. I think this is the way that we have to define or describe things. What is size? Ah, we're gonna say is um, the body's relative ma mass of the quantity contained. Ah, no, that's weight, right? That's weight. So we think about the definition and a or we think a word and its definition. That's the thing, a word and its definition. Now, let's see. We are going to say these words. Please open your microphones, I mean, your audios. And we are going to say these words. Words, size. Repeat size. after me, size. 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 size, weight. Size. Wait, 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 dimensions, dimensions, battery life, battery life, battery life, storage, storage, storage. 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 Yes, we don't say a storage. We say a storage. storage. We don't say a storage. storage. No, that's not correct. We say storage. 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 Function. 
function. Okay, good. So now let's read the other questions that we have there. How many products does, does your workplace buy? For example, um, how many pencils or how many um, desks do they buy? So let's think about how many products does your workplace buy? How many? Let's see, for example, um, mm -hmm. you are all so beautiful guys. I can't choose right now. Okay, Wilfredo, Wilfredo, can you give me an answer for Tell that me. question? Number one, in context, let's let's think. How many products does your comp, uh, I'm sorry, your workplace buy? And uh, which products example, do they buy? We can, we, I can talk about safety products, for example, alcohol, health, bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, every, every day I can see the in the reception uh, okay. the people the people give um 15 bottles uh, how do you say gallon gallon gallons 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 mm -hmm. yeah 15 gallons per day per day oh my god okay yeah, because it's a lot of people in, working in, there yeah one thousand and seven uh, how do you say mil? mil? Thousand? Thousand, uh-huh. Thousand and seven hundred people. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of alcohol gel. We, we yeah. need to, to have a lot of alcohol in many, many station work. Okay, good, good. And what about your workplace? Um, let's see. Fausto, number one. Can you give me an answer for that question? How many products does your workplace buy and which ones are they? Um, uh, in my company, uh, uh, they purchase uh, rings of bone paper. Mm -hmm. Toilet paper? Uh, rings, oh, how do you say resma de papel bone? Ah, yeah, we say like packages, packages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, is uh, lo que más, bueno, a I'm lot sorry. of paper. They use a lot of paper. Okay. Because uh, uh, every day. And you buy, buy those for boxes, right? Boxes. Yeah. Okay, how many boxes? Uh, I mean, how many packages uh, are, are in every box? Like 12, maybe, right? So we could yeah. make, I mean, do the math. There is a lot of paper, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. Good, good. So let's see, approximately how many units uh, do they buy of paper? In this case, we were talking about the paper that in Fausto's company they buy right uh, and he said that they buy like uh, how many did you say how many packages how many packages Fausto? um uh, more or less um 500 or something like that yes uh to 100 or 200. 100 or 200. So we can say around 200, around by 200, around. right? Around 200. Okay, good, good. So let's think about this, everybody. How much money do you think Fausto's company spend buying this paper? How much do you think? If they are talking about 200 packages, I mean, how much? How much is the price for that? Can you give me uh, an idea? No, sorry. 
I don't five. I don't have any idea. Okay, <laughs> let's let's think about five dollars per package. Let's think about five dollars per package. Five dollars yeah. per package. That's a good answer, right? How much money do you pay for that? Oh, five dollars per package, <laughs> right? Because do the math, right? Five multiply two hundred, right? So, I, I, teacher, I, I, I think it's a uh, maybe it's a uh, ten thousand dollars in two hundred package of papers. Yeah, at good. five dollars. Five dollars. Five yeah, yeah, good. Ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. Okay, and if we think per month, per week, you know, there we are going uh, with the math, but that's. That's good. So how much money do you think they spend? Oh, we think about or around 10,000, right? $10,000. Okay. So just let me check something. And because I have to uh, pass the attendance right now. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance. Oh, one, one second. I'm lost here. There you go. Do you have any question at the moment about the non-countable and countable nouns? No, teacher. No? What about the features of a product? Do you have any thought, any question about this? Teacher, I, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, What's the difference uh, between buy uh, and purchase? Okay, the only difference is the formality, okay? Formal thing and uh, in an ambience of business, it's better to say purchase, right? And in that environment, it's better to say purchase. It's not that there is a, big difference between that but retailers i think it's better to say to buy because it's just to exchange the money for a product right so purchase is the same thing but in big amounts could be yeah but there is no too much difference between that i think it's for the formal thing yeah the formal thing mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. teacher. Okay, Thanks. good, good. They are synonyms, right? They are synonyms. Mm -hmm. Do I you have, have any question? Okay, tell me. Uh, what's the difference um, between size and weight? It's similar, like? Uh, the weight is the mass. The mass. For example, I weighed, I'm not going to say my weight, but for example, I'm near, I, I'm near the 150 pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see, uh, this is just making a joke, but uh, weight is the mass, right? The mass of, uh, of a thing. For example, you can measure the weight in pounds and ounces or in um, kilograms. Yeah, kilograms. So that's weight. And size is the exactly the, um, yeah, it's kind of dimensions, but it's a measurement like large, small, extra large. Okay, so big, big is a size small as size um yeah that that could be the okay. the difference between those mm -hmm. okay. any other questions question okay let me take the attendance we are going to take the attendance attendance today only twice because of the time right and we have, and it was the first day of class. Okay, so I think we could, uh -huh. just let me get there. Okay, 
A Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ah, he was the one, right? I'm sorry. It was the one that told, you told me. Uh, let's see, Angeli Magali Coronado. Present. Good. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. I need Present. to hear you. Good. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Conchita, Carlos Ernesto Rogel wasn't here, right? Conchita Maria uh, Cecilia Gomez Campo. No, right. Okay. Give me one moment. And then uh, we have Edward, uh, perdón, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Good. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Thank you. Um, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present. Good. Uh, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Okay. There you go. Uh, Carla Marielos. Present. Okay, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William says here. William Isaac, he's the last one. One moment. It is Maria Fernanda Gavidia. Present. Thank you. Gavidia Guerrero. Okay, see. Sí. Yes. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. All right. Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you, and Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. It's not here, William. Let me see, no, right, it's not. There we go. One moment. There we go. Okay, do you have any other question about the content, today content? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Uh, uh, question number two, uh, pronunciation and the word approximately. Approximately, approximately. Approximately. Yes, approximately. Mm -hmm. Approximately. Okay. Yes, Thank you. approximately. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other question, guys? Okay, just let me introduce, just let me introduce some other explanation just for you to, uh, to make a summary, okay? To make a summary of this. Okay, what do they purchase in your company? That was the last question. And we said things like, um, just give me one second because it doesn't close. There you go. So we usually have 
The uncountable nouns. Remember, always remember, okay? This is mainly, and they can just like a summary that I said, that liquid substances, drinks, food, abstract things like art, air, love, love is uncountable, um, and things like that, they can't be counted, okay? So let's see, collective nouns, that's a different thing that we're going to see tomorrow, okay? We're going to study tomorrow these uncountable nouns and how to ask about these things and how to make questions about these things because we need to ask and share information, right? So, so um, these are some questions that we can ask or make, for example, when we want to ask for a thing. What is it? Ah, oh, it's a pencil because it's only one, right? It's a pencil. What is it? Or for example, what is this? Because it's near me, right? What is that? Because it's far from me. So these are the most common questions that you are going to use, right? Tomorrow we are going to practice these questions. What color is it? What color is it? What can be can it be used for? Ah, that means that you need to know about the function of a thing, right? What are the dimensions of the item? What are the dimensions of the item? So we are talking about the measurements, right? Mm, how much does it weigh? Ah, this is the word that I was talking about. Weight is the mass or the amount, the quantity, right? But weigh is the verb is the verb like pesar, right? So weigh without the T is different than weight. So let's have this difference between those words. How much is the battery life? Battery life, battery life. Ah, so we are talking about the, how much does it last, right? So if you check here, we are using how much, right? And we are using how many. So we are going to see that tomorrow. Uh, but I just wanted to introduce this now about the countable and uncountable nouns. Do you have any question about this? How to answer, right? For example, what is the answer for what is it? Ah, it's a pencil, right? The answer is missing here, right? I think that would be a very good question. What is the answer for what are the dimensions for it of um, this cellular form, right? What are the dimensions? Ah, it's uh, they say six. Um, how do you think? Inch. Inches. Inch. Inches. Inches. inches yeah thank you thank you very much so uh six nine eight inches so this is the kind of answers that we are going to find tomorrow find out tomorrow okay so now it's almost 10 right i think it's going it's time for dismiss the class but i need that just let me check who was the one who's going to stay with me. Ah, it was going to be Alexis Antonio, but he's not in the class. So who wants to take uh, this time with me? Anybody can, I mean, anybody wants to stay with me these 10 minutes? Do you have any question and you want to stay 10 minutes more? Who wants? Me, me, teacher. Oh, no, too much. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Only one, only one. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. If you don't have question, questions, it's okay. Okay, it's okay too. <laughs> but if you want, please be feel confident to stay with me. Don't be afraid. Tell me, tell me.
Teacher. Well, uh huh. Tell me. You, you told us when we use clear tape to put uh, boxes. When you are close, close the box, you put a clear tape. Uh huh. The tape. Yeah, I I work in packaging department. Oh. And we, every day, I I have to give to to, to the people to the employees. Uh, every every to employees every uh, every day I give them two or three. Uh, how do you say rolls? The tape rolls. Roll. Yeah, yeah, table rolls. We can, rolls. We can count the roll, but we don't we don't we don't count the tape. Yeah, we don't count yeah. the tape. Okay. Good. But only rolls, it is it is we can say uh, I I give them three every every one boxes. Oh three rolls. Oh, three rolls. Okay. Okay. It is correct. Say say that. Yes, it is correct. It is correct. Oh, okay. It is correct. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Tape rolls or rolls of tape. Rolls of tape or tape rolls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they are in a package of three, right? So it's only it's one package of three rolls, right? So you can say one package, two packages, and we and you understand that it contains three units, right? Mm -hmm. Three units. That that could be another explanation for that. You you can say that too. Mm -hmm. It depends because the boxes are different dimensions. Okay. It, it and amounts. Has, yeah, amount, yeah. And okay. It has uh, different quantity about polybag into the box. That depends the dimension of the box. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. I think class is dismissed, guys. Uh, and thank you everyone for being today, for attending class today. And I see you tomorrow. Okay. I see you tomorrow, uh, okay, so you teacher. have a great okay. evening. Good. Have a good night if you are going to rest. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good night, night teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay. And nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, too. Good night, good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, Francisco. Yes. Bye.
Thank you very much, Rosita, for sending this, um, this page in the group. Okay, for you all guys, remember to do your homework in the platform. Please remember that that's to practice. And also if it um, if you have any question about the homework, please feel confident and ask. And I am happy to help you. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to help you anyway. Anytime, I'm sorry, anytime. <laughs> Good. Milk, paper, paper clip, markers, pen, pencil, portfolio, agenda, folder, 
Staples. Stapler. Tape. Pencil sharpener. Coffee. Water. Sugar. Tea. Milk. Paper. Paper clip. Markers. Pen. Pencil. Portfolio. Agenda. Folder. Staples. Stapler. Tape. Pencil sharpener. Coffee. Water. Sugar. Tea. Milk.